Finally, let's take a look at the effects of inventory errors. An inventory error is an error in your beginning or ending inventory. This chart explains the effects of inventory errors. You can go through this chart and use it when you're doing your quizzes and homework. When you're reading this chart, keep in mind that the ending inventory in period 1 is the beginning inventory in period 2. So here it says ending inventory is overstated and then it will tell you what the effect of this is on your cost of goods sold and your gross profit and net income. In period 2, the ending inventory in period 1 becomes the beginning inventory on in period 2. So here it will tell you what the effect of a beginning inventory error is on your cost of goods sold and net profit and gross profit. You can go through this chart. It basically summarizes all the effects of inventory errors. But I'm going to explain it to you another way as well. You can use whichever method that you like. Let's take a look at this example. In your inventory account here, there's a beginning balance of $1,000. We had purchases of $5,000. Cost of goods sold was $4,500. And our ending inventory is $1,500. You know that beginning balance plus purchases, which is $6,000, is equal to cost of goods sold plus ending balance, which is also $6,000. Now this is a assumed income statement for the current year for this company. Revenues were $10,000. Cost of goods sold is $4,500 and that's shown in your inventory account here. Gross profit is $5,500 which is revenues minus cost of goods sold. Next, your operating expenses are $2,000 which gives you your net income to be $3,500. Now let's take a look at the effect of inventory errors on this particular situation. The first inventory error we're going to look at is where our ending inventory balance is overstated. Now, what does overstated mean? Overstated means that the ending balance of 1,500 is too high. It should be lower than what is here. I'm going to tell you that the correct balance should have been $1,000. So the balance that we had, the error is that it was overstated by $500. The correct balance should have been $1,000. Now if our ending inventory is overstated, we assume that our beginning balance is correct and so is our purchases, which means our cost of goods sold is too low. For us to balance out our T account, if our balance in our ending inventory is 1000 that means our cost of goods sold has to be higher. How much should it be? To balance it out, our cost of goods sold should have been $5,000. So our cost of goods sold was understated as a result by $500. Now let's take a look at the effect of this error on our gross profit and net income. Looking at the income statement, we said that our cost of goods sold should have been 5000 which means what should have our gross profit been. Now, if we change our cost of goods sold to 5000 our gross profit would also have been 5000 which means after subtracting $2,000 of expenses, our net income should have been 3000 so the effect of this error is that our cost of goods sold was understated by how much? It was understated by 5000 It should have been 5000 but we listed it at 4500 Our net income was overstated by how much? Again, 500 It is the amount of the error. Our net income was 3500 but it should have been 3000 so if your ending inventory is overstated, your cost of goods sold would have been understated and your net income and gross, in gross profit would have been overstated. Now let's take the same data and look at another error. This time we're going to see what would be the effect if our ending inventory was understated. Remember, understated means that our ending inventory that we have here 
is too low. It should have been higher. I'm going to tell you that it should have been 2,000 instead of the 1,500 that we have shown here. Again, we assume that our beginning balance and purchases are correct, which means our cost of goods sold is wrong. How much should our cost of goods sold be? It should be 4,000. So our cost of goods sold that we have in our inventory account is too high. Now let's take a look at how it would affect our income statement. We said cost of goods sold was 4000 which means our gross profit would have been 6000 After subtracting $2,000 of expenses, your net income should have been 4000 So the effect of ending inventory being understated is that your cost of goods sold was overstated by how much? Again, by $500, by the amount of the error. And what about your gross profit and net income? Your gross profit and net income was understated. By how much? By $500, by the amount of the error.